After high school, I, I really didn't have any direction of where I was going. Um, I knew I wanted to do big stuff, I just didn't know what. So I had a midterm, and I thought I failed my midterm. And I just freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, I failed my midterm. You know what, I'm not, that's it, that's it. I'm joining the Marine Corps. I went to the recruiter that day, and I said, sign me up. He said, what do you want? I said, I want infantry. I learned, you know, I didn't have a father figure growing up, so I learned that everything from, from being in the Marine Corps. Um, I learned how to shake a hand. I learned how to uh, look a man in the eyes um, when, when you're shaking his hand. And I learned about being courageous and having integrity. My job was a machine gunner with 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, and um, served two tours. And uh, that second tour was, it was pretty, pretty intense. We lost over 16 guys. My driver was taken out right in front of me. I've seen some very traumatic experiences and been, been through roadside bombs that should have killed me. I've been uh, shot at with RPGs and, and numerous ambushes, but yet uh, God brought me through it all. You know, you come back from, from combat, you, you think your mind is, is uh, gonna be fine, you're gonna be great, but I, 24 hours after you come back from Iraq doesn't change a thing. But you know, the cool thing is, is that God put a beautiful woman in my life that didn't allow me to, for one, feel sorry for myself, and for two, it's just, uh, she's my prayer warrior, you know, she's praying for me when I have those bad days. My wife and I just started calling it out, calling those things that are not as though they were. And we'd say, Lord, you say that you would give us houses we didn't build, vineyards we didn't plant, and wells we didn't dig. So I'm trusting you, we're trusting you. And we just kept calling it out. And one day I was at school and this veteran came up to me and said, he said, hey man, you're here, you're a Marine. I said, yeah, yeah, he's like, dude, you gotta check out this, this military foundation. We said, we're gonna do our part and we know God will do his. So in March, we were, our church did a 90 day giving challenge. We both looked at each other without hesitation and we were like, it's time. We had been talking about it and saying, okay, we're gonna put it on the budget this month. We're gonna put it in the budget. But when the challenge came up, we were like, it is time. God is knocking at our door telling us, it is time for you guys to do this right. <laughs> It was scary to, to want to give the full 10%. We've given, but we've never given to that extent. We started giving. We gave the biggest amount we've ever given before. And within a week or two, we get a phone call from um, our military foundation saying, hey, you guys don't have to pay uh, your mortgage anymore. It's pretty much <laughs> debt free. And we're like, wait a minute, wait. We, we, okay, we did this, and God did this. like. But in between was the risk, and that risk is, is it's, it's, it's heavy. And it's scary. <laughs> it's, it's scary, but, you know, that's... Exciting. Yeah, and I, I know God rewards risk. He, he, he's rewarded us so many times for, for taking a leap of faith and going out there and saying, you know what, God, we're going to trust you. I can't see what's in front of us, but I'm going to trust you anyway. One thing about South Hills that I love, that my wife and I love, is uh, when, you know, when we tithe, giving our money, we get to see what what it's doing beyond our walls. We think it's really awesome that we get to see where the money is that we're giving and how it just impacts everybody around us. Seeing the testimonies from people from beyond our walls that have been um, impacted by it. Uh, so many different organizations that South Hills is partnering with to help out. I, I think it's amazing and we're able to see it. Every, every week or, or a couple weeks, we get to see some organization or, or somebody that South Hills is helping. Um, and I think that's pretty awesome.